Welcome back to This Week at the Chamber, giving you the top four things you need to know before you get started on your week. So yeah. here, taking care of business this week. Yes, back uh, to school. Back to school. And we saw some pictures of the retired teachers out there holding the banner, welcoming everybody back. Um, it's an exciting time. It is exciting. So, um, how, about, how about we start with today, Monday, um, I'll be going to the Kiwanis Club. We'll be giving a chamber update, talking about some of the things that I've learned in my last 45 days or so on the job and kind of what's going on here at the chamber within these four walls. Um, get the opportunity to eat some Western Sizzlin with the Kiwanis Club, but that'll be happening today. And then uh, got a whole bunch of other stuff happening this week, but how about a ribbon cutting? Yes, we have a ribbon cutting on Wednesday at 9.30 in the morning at Riley's Treasures. Mm -hmm. Riley's Treasures is a new thrift store. We can see it out our window right out here. It's mm -hmm. on Main Street next to JPNO Orthotics. And they're a thrift store that um, supports local with their with their profits that they make. They keep it in the local community. Yeah, so uh, an opportunity to meet them, to see some of the things that they have for sale and the type of items they're looking for for donations yes. and stuff as well. So yes. that'll be, yeah, tomorrow, Tuesday, 9.30? Yes. 9.30. All right, and then we've also got roundtable week. No, it's Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Uh, is the ribbon cutting? But we've got roundtable week because we've got all sorts of roundtable meetings happening this week. One yes. of them is happening tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, but tell us a little bit about roundtable week. Roundtable week is great. It's an opportunity for um, business people to get together and sort of share information and experience. And um, we have our nonprofit one tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning, and so we're especially excited to kick it off with our nonprofits. Yep, we'll have nonprofits, we'll have small business, we have restaurant owners, mm -hmm. and we have manufacturers. So um, all of them are meeting this week. That's why we call it Roundtable Week. Yes. And so uh, one of our goals here at the Chamber is to be the convener of people and resources and helping connect people to people and people to resources. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing this week for Roundtable Week. Uh, and then Friday, we're having a discovery call with Startup Junkie and Emily Tucker out at the OUR Co-op. We're going to be talking a little bit about entrepreneurship training for educators specifically. Emily has been fielding a bunch of calls from some of her teachers that are are looking for more resources to give to their students that might be interested in starting their own business. So that's great. Startup Junkie does a bunch of workshops like that. Um, they've done some in partnership with us, but they're going to explore what that looks like for not just business owners, but kind of teaching the teachers. So that'll be Friday. Mm -hmm. Hopefully some, it. some good great. stuff will come from that. Yeah. It's a busy week. It's a fun week, actually. It is a really fun week. Um, yeah. Yeah. How about we go start taking care of business? Start it. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you for watching this week and we'll see you next week back here on This Week at the Chamber. Bye. Vision of Workforce Services is helping push this at uh, the state level and we've talked about it a little bit with some of our businesses, but when I think of work keys in this, uh, this assessment, it's different than ACT, right? Correct. And I think of the, I immediately go to the scoring system of it's bronze, silver, gold, and however I score on it might give me a leg up on the competition in the job market based on my status, but I know that it goes deeper than that. So could you maybe talk a little bit more about work keys and how it's going to be kind of rolled out in the schools this year? Absolutely. Um, all of the schools, all students, they're encouraging it from the state level career technical education. They're encouraging students to take this, um, hoping to give students a reference point of where they might be in the job market, what they might be able to provide to area employers. So they're also work, looking for the partnerships with employers to recognize these credentials to know that they might have a valued employee that or prospective employee that they might hire. So typically you think of, you know, gold, I'm better than anybody else, silver, bronze, mm -hmm. you think you're on the, you know, tier. But what that actually means is that you are just going to be more capable in more job positions. They have a massive database of all these jobs that um, people might be interested in or be qualified for. Mm -hmm. So platinum, which is the top, top, 
just means you're going to be probably successful in any of the jobs. Like 99% of the jobs that you apply for, you'd be a perfect employee for that. So gold is going to be about 90% of the jobs that are listed in the database you'd be qualified for. Um, If you get silver, about 65%. And then it's a smaller percentage for bronze. It doesn't mean that you couldn't do better as you move forward. So if you think about somebody taking it as a junior year, their qualifications and skills and their abilities might be different than if they take it later. Um, But even if you're going to college, it's a good idea to to take the test just so that you might know, hey, there's some skills I need to brush up on. Um, Or, you know, it gives me an idea of how many positions I might be capable of fulfilling as a career you just helped me you just helped shape my perspective too because i was thinking of it along the same lines of act right if you score a 25 or 6 on the act it's like oh you you either studied harder you're much better at attacking the questions and like correct like you're smarter right 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 and you're gonna that equates more scholarship money or whatever as opposed to a lower score but so a higher score on work keys isn't necessarily like more qualified or uh, smarter or better trained or what it's none of those it's more like about flexibility or adaptability right you could do a lot more jobs yes and it that. could be that whatever <laughs> you're really interested in is in the silver tier so you are perfect you know it doesn't mean that you need to do more or less or anything like that it's like oh great this is what i you know this is what i want to do this is the tier that i fit in so i feel good about that or oh you know i probably need to work more on this because the thing i really think i want to do for life is in the bronze area or Mm -hmm. you know the list of careers in the bronze areas there 